They say everything is bigger in Texas, and holy that could not be more true with today's mega chonker. Located in South Lake, Texas, sits a $20 million, seven bed, 10 bath, 31,000 square foot mega mansion. 31,000 square feet. That is impeccable. And even though it's 31,000 square feet, it's still listed at $640 per square foot. Not to mention this oversized mega chonker has 3.6 acres of usable land and a nine car garage. Just wait until you see all of the insane toys that come with this property that make today's video. Cause it's not the mansion itself. You know, it's just a nice house. There's a lot more to it. So let's talk about it. Make me a deal. If you get any value or information out of today's video, hit that like and subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. My name is Grayson Roberts, a realtor and owner of Boss Properties. If you're looking to buy, sell, and invest countrywide, you know who to call. Give me a shout. There's not a real estate deal in this country that we cannot help you with. And a quick shout out to today's sponsor. It's Weeble, my favorite free online stock broker. It's going to pay you to sign up in the form of a sign up bonus. Six free stocks. All you got to do is click the link in my description, create an account on their free platform, deposit any amount into your brokerage account, and then they're literally going to give you all the free stocks you can sell by the dip make more money or cash them out in your bank account because inflation sucks anyway let's just get into this absolute behemoth so i always start these videos with the listing description because it's always fun seeing what the listing agent has to say because this is their one chance to sell it on the mls aka zillow realtor.com all that stuff so let's get into it transitional mediterranean gated on 3.6 acres in exclusive south lake texas this home offers seven bedrooms located 25 minutes outside of dallas architectural symmetry and detail are displayed throughout the 31,000 square feet of luxury living space with a functional open floor plan, tons of natural light, luxurious finishes, a chef's kitchen, custom finishes throughout, and smart home technology on three levels. Truly an entertainer's paradise, including a full-size basketball court, bowling alley, gym, indoor glass and clothes trampoline, game room, batting cage, and movie theater. Additionally, there is a yoga room, beauty room, and separate downstairs prep kitchen. Amenities include a wine room, elevator, two guest suites with a private entry, resort like grounds featuring a a turfed backyard to oh that makes sense we'll talk about that in a little bit two heated saltwater pools and hot tubs with a hidden slide jumping rock diving board a 15 foot deep end and enclosed heated terrace an outdoor living room and kitchen complete with the outdoor space wow that was a mouthful and just buckle up folks because god dang it everything's bigger in texas so let's take a look at it now this is not one of those properties that is often on this channel that looks absolutely phenomenal on the inside, but is an absolute fever dream upon entry. Even the last video where the outside was pretty nice, but it was a freak fest as soon as you step inside. No, no, this is a genuine masterpiece. This estate, and it's just that, an estate is a literal compound that anybody could enjoy. Now, this image right here gives a decent bird's eye view at how vast this property is. Just wait. The yard is one of the biggest fenced in city yards that I have ever seen in my life. All meticulously manicured, but we just found out that what now that I'm looking at it, everything I think is turf. Now, upon entry to the foyer, you immediately understand the grand, modern, and bright vibe that is consistent throughout most of this house. And I absolutely adore the open balcony concept for the interior. It seems so grand and unnecessary. And again, following through with the whole everything is bigger in Texas. Why not? You have 31,000 square feet. You might as well have open concept balconies because why not? Now, moving into the kitchen is nothing crazy, but, you know, we're hit with more exquisite attention to detail and a massive hood vent over the stove. Good Lord, it's thick. And, of course, no mega mansion, especially one in Texas, is complete without a dedicated wine room, backlit mahogany, solid wood wine storage. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. This living room is not too much bigger than the one that's probably in your current house. It's bigger than mine but may not be bigger than yours. And that would be because this isn't a living room. 
This is the bedroom. The bedroom with the seven foot high backboard or, or headboard, I guess I should say. I have a king bed and I have an oversized bed frame. But this bed, I think this might be one of those Alaskan kings, which is basically two kings put together. Oversized headboard, tall boys for lamps, and just a totally over the top room. Nothing too spectacular about it other than it's just huge. Now moving into the bathroom, of course, we have a big grand tub, which actually looks decently uncomfortable considering that marble overhang would cut into your back, but whatever. The shower makes up for it. I mean, look at how huge this is. This is a living room. One of the biggest showers I have ever seen. You could fit the entire Dunder Mifflin staff in this shower. Of course, oversized, over white, and over detailed beautiful bathroom. And of course, it comes with an enormous closet. However, this is just hers. There is a his side that is just as big, and both of these closets combined makes for a living space that is bigger than my last oversized apartment. Now we're getting to the truly Texas part of the home, and what makes this video, well, why we're here today, all of the fun stuff. Now you do have a full regulation size bowling alley, one lane, nothing to write home about, because a lot of these mega chonkers, they just slap in bowling alleys, call it a day, and it's actually a very common thing. But moving to the next picture, you have a full regulation size basketball court with an oversized half court, which is absolutely insane. I would be obsessed with this because it's not just a basketball court. You can set up a volleyball net, etc., And it's right off to the pool. So imagine having all your friends over playing some hoops, listening to some music, opening the doors, having an in and out open air kind of situation. Then you're done, you know, draining threes on your boys and you jump into the bathtub. Hey, listen, I meant to say jump into the pool. I don't know if anybody should be shooting threes with the boys and then taking a community group bath. <laughs> or you're playing volleyball with your friends or, I mean, it's just literally a kid and young adults dream. And of course we have the kind of common area, which is comparable to an Andy B's that you can see there is the bowling lane right there and the one couch on risers, which I assume is so you can see over the bowling lane into the open glass where you can watch basketball games. I don't know, but uh, pretty cool. Kind of surprised they didn't make better use of this space considering what else is all here. And of course, a batting gauge. Now, baseball is one of the only sports that I don't play, don't care about, don't watch. But if I lived here, I would be hitting the cages at least once a week because why not? This looks so cool. Now, here is something that everybody, or not everybody, of course, but a lot of people talk about. Oh, I'd love a trampoline room in my house. But this one has a trampoline room. It's a trampoline room for sure, but it seems like a bit of a missed opportunity. Maybe if you just like doing flips, but there is a divider between the two, so it's two single lanes. But I think that they just absolutely dropped the ball, pun intended, on not installing a basketball hoop because all of these trampoline places have these single lane where you can run and dump and do, jump and do these crazy dunks and stuff. That is a missed opportunity, and I'm sure the next owner will install those. And of course, you just have a basic run-of-the-mill gym, nothing to write home about, especially for 31,000 square foot. I've seen houses a fraction of this size with even better gyms, but still cool. Now we're getting into my personal favorite part, the pool, the massive pool, and technically, there's two, they're both salt water and salt water, salt water and both heated. And then at this end is the 15 footer with, I don't exactly know where the diving board is, um, but apparently it has one. And I assume, oh, is it that bridge? Is that where the diving board is? Is it a high dive? And you can see the slides in those two pillars. You go up in there, you can slide down. Looks like you can jump off into the 15 footer. I mean, <laughs> It's pretty freaking cool. And on this angle, you can see the two hot tubs, two infinity edge hot tubs with the zero entry pool. I mean, oh my gosh, this is absolutely my favorite part. I'm a summer beach pool bum and uh, it's so cool. And not to mention the way the house is laid out. You can, I'll throw up the overhead view. You can kind of tell that from most places in the house, you have a good view of the pool, which is really nice. Now, I'm not actually sure what this yard is being used as. It could be a driving range, could be a hitting range. Maybe it's Texas shooting range, which obviously it's not, but I do see a little ramp, which makes me think dirt bikes, but the way this property is perfectly manicured doesn't look like any wheels have ever touched this grass, but it's turf. 
but I assume dirt bikes would screw up turf. So I'm not sure exactly what they're doing with this. I would probably, if I lived here, add a little dirt bike track in the very back, a little mini skate park, and even attach a stage to the pool deck so that way you can have private parties come in and you can throw these lavish ultra 31,000 square foot mega mansion parties in Texas and uh, have, you know, private singers and, and bands come in and perform. That would be pretty cool. But let me know in the comments below what you would do with this mega yard. Anyway, that's the property. Everything's bigger in Texas. A child's or young man's dream. Absolutely gorgeous property on the inside and out. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hit the like and subscribe button if you'd like to see more Zillow Gone Wild listings. Get the free money with Weeble. Call me if you need to sell or invest or buy real estate. And I will see you in the next video.